Hi, I'm Ike Ellis and welcome to a quick SQL tip. Today we're going to talk about SQL Server Management Studio and line numbers and why line numbers are important. So if I've got this query right here and I'm working with another developer and she sees an error, she says, oh, you've got a problem with your select statement. But like in this query, because I've got a CTE, I've got a select statement up here and I have a select statement down here. And it's just too difficult in SQL to describe where our errors are just because of the structure of the language and long scripts have a lot of the same keywords and they all kind of look the same and so so it would be very helpful if she said hey down here on line number 16 you have an issue I know I'm on line 16 because down here in the lower right corner it says line 16 down in this window um, but it would be helpful if she could just kind of glance at the query and see that so the way you enable line numbers is you click on tools options and then underneath text editor underneath all languages um, click right here line numbers and click OK and that produces line numbers down here on the lower um, left hand corner of the screen so it'd be very easy for her to say hey look line 16 you have a problem now I'm not going to fix that problem right now I'm going to hit F5 to execute so you can see the error number and in this case the error number the parser says you have a problem with line 16 right there that's another reason why line numbers are very helpful because I can just go quickly to line 16, see it, oh, yep, I do have an error, hit F5, and then I get my results. By the way, if you were wondering which keystroke I was using to toggle my results, that's Control R. Anyway, that's a quick tip, and um, come back soon for more quick tips. Thanks a lot, guys.